Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World. I'm Jeanette. I'm here to let makeup, do makeup trends, do subscription box unboxings, um, makeup hauls, whatever I can think of beauty wise and figure out how to film for you guys. Today I've got a dual boxy charm unboxing. I have two base boxes. There's going to be a boxy versus boxy. Which base box is better? Is it worth it? Are they worth the $28? Um, that they cost every month and yeah <laughs> if you want to see what I got in both my base boxes for BoxyCharm for July 2022 keep on watching <music> welcome back to my channel everybody so happy to see you all if you're new here a big welcome uh i appreciate you checking me out all right and consider liking and subscribing this video if you do like it so you can see more videos that i do i've got big playlists down below so if there's a particular subscription box you like or if you like get readies with me uh makeup hauls i've, I've separated everything in the playlist down uh, on my main channel so you can uh, pick out what you like to watch all right so today i have a boxy charm i have two base boxes all right i get two i have two accounts because one of these accounts i get the lux box every three months and so when you get the lux box you don't get the base box and i was having fomo uh, <laughs> there was things in the base box that i wanted to get and uh so hence i have two accounts so the months that they don't have the lux box i get two base boxes and i can do this uh base box versus base box and uh yeah so this month this is what the card looks like it says status zero 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 i guess it's supposed to be status quo uh the number i have is c2207027 Okay, so it's version number 27, and uh, they say, I believe the dollar amount is between $125, $150 in that range, and the base boxes are $28 a month now. <laughs> if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping track sometimes. Uh, I do know the premium box is $40, so because that's more and then the Lux box comes out to 60 they replace your base box and then charge me an extra 30 or 32 dollars on the months when I get the Lux all right my link is down below that just gets you there it's not affiliated uh, it's, I'm not sponsored nothing like that it's just a link to get you there I might earn some of their points on the box of charm site which I never go in the point store but you know <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is okay so first thing in my box is juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle retinol overnight serum and this retails for $72 uh, there we go see I would never spend $72 on a serum Glad to get it in a subscription box. I'll try it out. I have tons at this point. <laughs> I've been doing this for over a year, and at this point, I have a lot of skincare. You know, I have it all organized my moisturizers, my cleansing, um, you know, face washes, cleansing balms, serums, masks, you name it, I've got it all. So let's see, how does this work? I think. Oh, it's just a pump. Okay. Comes out like that. Doesn't smell bad. Let's rub this in. It says anti wrinkle retinol overnight serum, clean, vegan, 2.5% bio retinol. Smells kind of citrusy. Okay. Plus retinol serum with breakthrough scientific technology, encapsulating the vitamin in evening primrose to assure stability and to avoid stock. To avoid toxic chemicals skin rescuing technologies keep your skin looking and acting youthful while you sleep the serum glides on smoothly and leaves skin feeling hydrated 
it, it does I have to say that it is smooth it does look hydrating and like I said it smells kind of citrusy to me they talk about primrose all right okay so there we go there's the first item yeah knocking over my lip gloss over here <laughs> okay so the next item is from Earth Harbor their nymph nectar super fruit fruit radiance balm this retails for $38 that's what the packaging looks like it says as sea fruits and tropical super berries playfully melt across your face with this balm they insert a lively I don't know it looks kind of like it dried out a little or something maybe it had to do with the heat I do live in the desert so I'm having to watch my beauty products that I get you know uh let's see they insert a lively abundance of vitamin c a e and k omegas amino acids and numerous other bioactives necessary for achieving your best bounciest dewiest skin yet all right so let's see all right almost feels um like a slight amount of like sugary stuff in there but it blends in nicely and it does liquefy pretty quickly some bombs you have to like really work at it to get them to liquefy to get them out of the pot this smells good too all right and that rubs right in there look how dewy my hand looks all right all right <laughs> not mad about that you know you know i do have a lot of skin care earth harbor i i've had good luck with earth harbor products with skin care okay so I, i'll use this at night definitely maybe with my overnight retinol serum but you gotta be careful with retinols because you make sure you wear your spf because your skin becomes super sensitive to the sun apparently all right so then we have from Eloise these are luxury eyeshadow brush sets and this retails for $22 says create any gorgeous look let me open this up all right um, with this prism luxury eyeshadow brush set the set includes four essential brushes that help you blend with precision to perfect and enhance any eyeshadow look almost got it Oops. Oh, they're pretty. Look at those handles. Oh, look at those. They're kind of rainbowy, for sure. Uh, at least it prism. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> now that makes sense. Prism. They're pretty. All right, these feel good. So let me finish reading here what they say. Uh, help you blend with precision to perfect and enhance any eyeshadow look from subtle to glam. Each brush is made with super soft synthetic fibers with a sleek and sturdy holographic prism handle. $22. So, yeah, these are some nice blending brushes. This one's good for blending under the eye. These are good for in the crease, outer edge. And then we've got a, a pencil tip brush right here, which is good. This is also good for under the eye and in the inner corner. I love to use these for my inner corners. Because you can get just right in there, just where you want it. So these are pretty. Oh, I like these. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what did I, I said? Let's see. What's next? All right. I think I said they were twenty-two dollars. The next is from Gerlact, or no, the Beauty Crop. Okay, and. This is a liquid eyeshadow duo, dual ended, long wearing liquid eyeshadows. One side is creamy, velvet, pigmented, matte formula. The other side is a dazzling liquid glitter formula. They're easy to blend and can be layered, mixed, and matched. A double dose of fun. Retails for $18. So let's see, it's got a, like a plastic wrap on it. So let's get that off. And then we can see what they look like. There we go. All right. So they say one side's matte. 
Now this has to super safety sealed. All right. <laughs> Let's see if I can cut through that paper without cutting my fingers. Okay, got it. All right, so there is the first one. Let's put it on here. This is the matte eyeshadow. And then the glittery one. Looks like that. Okay. And there they are. That looks pretty. They swatch nice. I'm getting more and more liquid eyeshadow. I've got a nice little collection of liquid eyeshadows and I hardly ever use them. And most of have used the Sydney Grace ones, and I've only used a couple of them as like one and done's for work. So this looks like it be a nice two, two, two and done for work. All right, so we'll try that out. <laughs> oh, this is probably my plastic wrap. Let me throw it in the garbage. This the rest of my plastic wrap. All right, so there's one other thing in the palette from Phase Zero. This is the Necessities Eyeshadow Palette. These eight universal matte shadows are incredibly buildable. They deliver smooth, highly blendable color designed to create a soft blended look. Retails for $40, and this is a new launch. So, you know, I did check out my stuff when I first got them, and look, you can see what's going on already just by that. And just so you know, I contacted BoxyCharm with a picture. Okay, and this is, yeah, this is just getting all over the place. Look at that. Look at that. So it's like totally smashed. Let me see if I can show you. All right. Getting, I don't want to get it all over. See, it's coming out. But look at that. Totally smashed. All right. So this is going in the garbage. They are replacing it. As a matter of fact, I've got, they said allow 15 days. It's all over my hands. Um, and I did get the tracking just today that a new palette is on the way. So let's, I'll keep you informed and let you know because this was my pick <laughs> for my box was this eyeshadow palette. Just a neutral matte shade. Oh, it's all over everything. Look, I knew I shouldn't have opened it, but all right, we'll clean it up. I knew I shouldn't have opened it because now I got eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, well, we'll finish. But this is this is my garbage box. Okay. <laughs> So they did respond quickly, and when they saw my picture, they said, oh, okay, we're going to send you a new palette. So thank you, Box Charm. And like I said, I did get the shipping today, the tracking number for that. All right. So that was everything in my box. We got the eyeshadow palette. You know, it's broken, but they're sending me a new one. We got this retinol serum from Juice Beauty. We got some balm from Nymph Nectar. We got the dual liquid eyeshadow from the Beauty Crop and our eye brushes, the Prism eye brushes, which I think are really pretty and I can't wait to try those. So everything in this box totals up to a value of $190. And like I said, I paid $28 for the box. And so, yeah, so I think that was pretty good. All right, so that's my first box. So let's get into the second box. I'm going to put this garbage box on the floor. All right, and hang on. All right, let's do the second base box. Okay, so this is the card. It looks the same. And this is version C2207, which is always the year and the month, and it's 020. So I had 027 for my first box, 020 for this box. 
And so I'll show you the choice I made for this one. I try, I try to make different choices, you know, because they usually give you two choices for the base box. So one base box, I choose one thing, and the other, I choose the other. So this is from Ali Oop. All right, and this is Stack the Odds. It's a best-selling three-in-one stackable compact that packs a cream blush, bronzer, and highlight for a complete natural look. That's what the packaging looks like. Very cute, very cute. The creamy formula is blendable, buildable, infused with moisturizing ingredients like jojoba. There's a mirror. Um, where was I at here? <laughs> jojoba and sunflower seed for natural glow applies directly with the finger anytime anywhere or with a makeup brush for a more dramatic effect travel friendly in a lightweight compact the cream formula doesn't break the traditional powder products and it doesn't break like the traditional powder products and it retails for 38 dollars so there is all right, so we have the highlighter. We have the cream blush. That looks pretty. And then a cream blonde blah, bronzer. So let's kind of put these on my hand. My hand is still glowy from uh, the balm that I put on there. But they look pretty. That highlighter looks pretty, doesn't it? Nice glowy. I love the, the color of the blush. See if it blends out. Yeah. All right. So these would be great for work. You know, just a quick, handy little palette. Look how easy that, that they went back together. How fun is that? So that's fun. All right, so I like that. So the next thing in here is from Kate Somerville, Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, Conditions and Restores. And let's see, this retails for, okay, here we go again, $76 for this little thing of moisturizer. Now I know Kate, Kate Somerville is a high-end brand, but really, what's in here that makes it $76? six dollars okay so this says clinically tested safe for sensitive skin and gentle enough for all fair all skin types this nourishing cream is clinically formulated with moisture boosting visible redness reducing ingredients known to soothe dry tight skin inspired by the relief founder kate experienced Okay, experienced by the relief founder Kate experienced as a child when goat's milk helped alleviate her painful eczema. All right, so there we go. That is some moisture. I think I got the goat milk moisture. I think I have one open, and it's been open for a long time because the one I have is like very watery. This one is kind of watery, but doesn't seem as watery. Let me just take some of this. No real scent. All right. It just rubs in nice. So, yeah, it looks a little liquidy, but not as liquidy as the other one I have, which is why I haven't used it a lot because it's just so liquidy. So, we'll see. We'll see how it works. All right. Next. All right. Oh, looky here. We got some more eye, eye brushes. The um, Eloise Beauty Prism Luxury Eyeshadow Brush Set. I already read about those. $22. Very pretty. Here's my open ones. So I can't wait to use these. So these are a duplicate. So I will put this in my giveaway share basket that I've got going on. And then here's another duplicate from the Beauty Crop. Is the dual ended eyeshadow again. I'm not going to open this one. I will share this one also. All right. And then here, the Cupid eyeshadow palette from Nat Natasha Denona. This retails for $48. I 
Now I have received this before in a boxy charm. I don't remember which box it was. I think it was a Lux box a few months ago. But here's mine. And so this is one of her $48 five pan palettes. Uh, her mini palettes have smaller pans in them. And this is with three velvety mattes and two dazzling metallics. The versatile five pan cubic palette is all you need to create a range of romantic looks from flirty to fierce. Featuring rich, rich coppery browns, bright champagne pinks, and luscious burgundy corals. All five shades are velvety, hydrating, and effortless to layer. So obviously I'm going to share this with somebody. But I'm also going, just so you know, um, when I saw that I got this palette again, I was like, oh, you know what, let me get out mine and try it. So I tried it for work this week. And you can see it's kind of a pink toned. and a lot of times my eyes are very sensitive and they're very sensitive to reds and pinks in certain brands now i know the ColourPop barbie palette those pinks my eyes did not like so i decluttered that right away i gave it to a, a friend of a friend and let her enjoy it i decluttered my natasha denona love palette because i had an allergic reaction to that to a co-worker i let him have it and he's enjoyed it uh this i also had a slight allergic reaction to this i don't know if it's the dark you know colors or what but so i won't use this again i have so many eyeshadow palettes why would i use a palette that i'm allergic to and you know i the first Natasha Denona palette I bought is the Zendo palette. And I still have that. It's so pretty. Um, and I've wanted to try it again. But like one of the orangey shades in there, I believe, I was allergic to. So I don't know. So that's three different Natasha palettes that I've used that I've had allergic reactions to. Now, like the, glam, the mini Glam and the mini Diva and that, you know, they're more neutral shades. I didn't have any issues with those. But her pinky, or pinky red, reddish shades, I seem to have issues. I don't know what's in her eyeshadows, but I seem to have issues with them. So I'm kind of leery. I'm getting more Natasha Denona stuff as much as people love them. Because even, I have to say, the, like the Mini Viva, Mini Glam, I wasn't as impressed with my eye looks as I was as I am with some other one other looks I've made like look at them, look at the, you know so and there's so many eyeshadow palettes so I, I feel bad saying that because Natasha Denona is she's fabulous I like some of her other products you know her uh, foundation and stuff like that but I seem to um not really I don't know if I don't like her formula or what but. When I'm allergic to them, I can't use them. So I will be decluttering this and giving this away just because my eyes are so sensitive. And they and when I say they're sensitive, I like they get red and goopy and they hurt and goopy. <laughs> like start draining stuff from the corners of my eyes and they get crusty and goopy and it's it's not fun. And then I can't wear makeup for a couple of days till they relieve themselves. All right, so I totaled up everything in this box. All right, okay. $200 is what this box retails for. So maybe it's 150 to 175 they say, these base, base boxes. So it's a good value of stuff, $28. Uh, I like my Alley Oop. This was 38 so this pays for the box. And I'll use this for sure. I've been really into cream blushers, trying some cream bronzers. Um, not, not so keen so much on some of the creamier eye or highlights, but I will try this. You know, I try them. I try them. This is a liquid highlight I have on today. It's one of my ones from Cover FX and, um, I hadn't worn it in a while, but I always like that highlighter. So that and what else? Oh, I'll keep this, you know, my goat milk. <laughs> <laughs> moisturizer <laughs> so and then i have three 
duplicates. This was from a previous BoxyCharm box, which I'm kind of upset that they gave me another one. Although it could have been my other BoxyCharm account. Because this is from my uh, MSN email account. So I think my Lux box might be in my Gmail account. So that's probably what the issue is. You know, so I can't blame them for that. So this, these will go on my giveaway, these three items. All right. So, and then this is, I'm decluttering because I can't use it because I'm allergic. <laughs> my eyes are too sensitive and I love pinks on my eyes. Now, Pat McGrath, the, that Christmas palette that I wore, what did I wear to that nursing thing I went to and I did that video to get ready with me uh, to go to my gala event and that was a beautiful eyeshadow color and there was pinks in that you know pat mcgrath is known for her pink shades and and i have the utopian palette and the christmas the one that came out at christmas holiday palette last year and both of those i've come up with beautiful glammy type looks and did not have any reaction so those are good um, i don't know if i'll get the new palette coming out the mothership 10 like the only one, like the first Mothership one I bought was a Utopian palette, and I like it. But they're so expensive, you know. I might have to wait till there's a sale, you know. And I have so many eyeshadow palettes, you know, that I think two of those is, is good in my collection. Because I wear them, like, when I'm dressing up. And I don't dress up too often. Okay, so I'm rattling on and on. That is the end of this video. That's all I've got for you for my BoxyCharm base boxes. Let me know what you think. Everybody leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.